Let's make this adorable, simple little gingerbread house. It has glass windows, really easy to make. You can light it up. It's a really fun project, so let's get started. We need four cups of flour. This is two, and another two. I'm also going to add one cup of whole wheat, whole grain flour. One teaspoon of baking soda. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. A teaspoon of salt. Stir all that together. Once those are all mixed up well, I'm gonna set them aside. Wet ingredients, half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of light brown sugar, a teaspoon of ginger, one egg. Half a cup, that's about eight tablespoons of melted coconut oil. This is melted but cooled. About a quarter of a cup of honey. That's two heaping tablespoons. I'm gonna give it all a good stir with my spoon just to start off the mixing process. And then I'm gonna get in there with my whisk and whisk that up a bit. Once I've whisked it up a bit, I wanna add half a cup of water, mix that up. Once I have those thoroughly mixed and my sugar dissolved, I'm gonna start incorporating them into my dry ingredients. So I'm gonna bring my dry ingredients here. I'm gonna make a little well in the center and add my wet ingredients. And then I just wanna start folding those in. Just keep working that dough until it comes together. Knead it and bring it together a little bit. You can tell your dough is ready when it no longer sticks to your bowl. Once I'm done kneading it, I'm going to cover it, put it in the fridge, and let it sit for about half an hour. Lightly dust my board. I'm going to start by cutting out the sides. I've used aluminum foil to make my cutout because I find it so much easier. It lightly sticks and it doesn't move around the way cardboard does. So I'm just gonna cut out my first piece. windows. I'm preheating my oven to 325. I like to use a ruler and just tap against the edges to ensure a smooth edge there in my windows as well. See how beautifully that aluminum foil works? And now you can just take that, pop it onto your baking sheet, and just peel that right off. Second one. Ready to go in. My front piece. Make a door here. I'm just going to arch that up. small circular window up here. I'm just going to use a cookie cutter for that. One of my roof pieces onto my truck. Glass windows. I have eight tablespoons of cold water here and I'm just going to add eight tablespoons 
of gelatin to that. Now that my gelatin has soaked, I'm going to add one and a half cups of water that's been boiled with half a cup of sugar. And I'm going to give that a good stir. You can just use gelatin sheets if you like, fix them to the inside of your house. But this works better for me and I get more of a custom look with it. Dissolve that thoroughly and let that cool. Wait until it thickens and becomes kind of gloopy and then just spoon it into your windows. If it thickens up too much on you, you can always remelt it. So you do want it on the thicker side so that it just doesn't ooze out of there. Oil icing. I'm going to use my stand mixer for this. It's just easier. And I'm going to add two egg whites to that, pasteurized egg whites. Make sure you've either pasteurized your egg whites or you've purchased pasteurized egg whites. A few drops of lemon juice is in there with that. And I'm just going to lightly froth those. Once they're nice and frothy, I'm going to add two cups of powdered sugar to that. And beat that together. I'm gonna get back in there, scrape down the sides of my bowl, add another cup of powdered sugar. And then just let that whisk up. This is done and it looks absolutely amazing. We're going to set that aside until we're ready to use it. I had to let these sit overnight, but it was well worth the wait time because you get these gorgeous little icy looking windows. They come out so beautiful. I was going for a rustic look and they came out absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to unwrap this so you can see. And they're so easy to make this way. But look how beautiful they came out. Just peel that off. Those are going to look beautiful. They gave me that nice icy look that I was looking for. So beautiful. That's going to look amazing when this is lit up. What I'm going to do is lay them out on some wax paper. I just want to get a little window pane around the outside of the window. Making your windows with this gelatin, you do not want to let the royal icing touch it. It will melt them down because gelatin draws humidity, but it will still look lovely. So we're just going to go on the outside here. To glue my gingerbread house together, I'm going to use caramel. It works so much better. It's so much faster than using the royal icing. So I just have one cup of sugar and I'm going to melt that down to a caramel. Give it a good stir, get all those bits melted down. That looks just about right. Everything's melted down. It has a beautiful caramel color. This is very hot. So be super cautious with it. And it also cools down quickly. So that's gonna make for a wonderful glue for our house. So I'm just gonna dip one of the ends in and bring my two pieces together. And just hold them there for a moment. Look how beautifully that works. My other side piece, dip that in as well. Let the excess drip off. I want to work quickly on my final piece because I have two sides and I have to get some caramel on. So I'm going to do it by spooning it on here and pop it right on. That's going to look so pretty once it's decorated and lit up. I have everything on. I'm going to let that sit for a moment before we decorate. I'm decorating it pretty simply. I'm going with a crisscross pattern for the roof. door is removable so I can access my light. I'm using a battery operated tea light. I have a little gingerbread man that I want to attach. Add some icing to the back, just a couple of drops. Pop them on there. I also have a couple of Christmas trees. A little icing where I want them to go. Final 
sprinkling of powdered sugar, especially in the bottom to give it a little bit of a snowy effect. Try not to get this on your windows. Just get a little snow on that roof. Those windows look absolutely amazing when they're all lit up. They have that nice icy look, that glassy, iced over look. It looks really cute when it's lit up. I really hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Please take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for more recipes like this.